What's up, nerdlings? What's up? Do you nerd for uh, being tagged? Hey, nerdlings. Linda, aka the Gamer Girl, here. And the real question is do you nerd for Tom and Lacey? We have been tagged yet again, this time by J Chip Show. What are three to five games we would never get rid of? Three or five, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Uh, next YouTuber is Do You Nerd. Now, they have an awesome, awesome game room, and I would love to know what games that they would keep forever, even if they had to get rid of everything else. That's pretty easy, actually. Now, when it comes to choosing favorites, we're probably the worst at that. Yes. But there are definitely some video games that I know I'm never getting rid of, no matter what. You will have to pry them from my cold, dead hands. When you pry it from my cold, dead fingers, your proposal is acceptable. First and foremost, easily enough, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo. This is my copy. I used to store things in my video game boxes, and this was the one for codes and tips. So there's the <laughs> proof that it is my copy. This is the Zelda game that made me a Zelda fan. Now, in later years, I began to respect the original NES games a little more, but I always felt like this took what made the first game on NES so great and really amped it up. The visuals, the music, everything still holds up today. And this is the kind of game that I can sit down and play at any time. I never get bored of playing this game. I'm always happy to revisit it. And I just love how gorgeous <laughs> and epic every bit of it is. What about you? Well, mine was a no-brainer. Because it is Zombies Ate My Neighbor <laughs> on the Sega Genesis. Because this is not the copy I had as a kid. I did happen to get rid of it somehow. But I was able to re-get this again thanks to Video Games Monthly. This is one of my favorite games. My all-time favorite games of all time. I played it. I rented it all the time at the video store and everything. And then I eventually got it. It was so much fun. To me, the visuals still hold up. I, maybe it's because we're getting more retro video game look nowadays, so I'm used to it. But it's always so much fun. It's fun to pop in some codes and jump into any random level. Fighting zombies, saving babies and teachers and all that other fun <laughs> stuff. It is so much fun. This is my go-to game when I get bored. You know, mentioning the visuals, we both have 16-bit choices here. Honestly, I think that the 16-bit yeah. era, it just holds up I think so, so well. Yeah, I would agree with that. Gotta go. Hey, guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out. Brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Wow! Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Okay, my next one, I'm cheating just a little bit, but there's a reason for it. I couldn't really decide if I wanted to go with... Dragon Warrior on NES, the game that got me into RPGs, or Final Fantasy VI, or three, as it was come to known here in America. <laughs> now, this is the game that got me into Final Fantasy. I love both of these games. I will be fair and say Dragon Warrior isn't exactly one that I jump to return to at any given moment. But Final Fantasy VI is my favorite Final Fantasy game. And again, another 16-bit offering. So it holds up wonderfully. Great characters, great story. Dragon Warrior, I mean, it it was an RPG. Poof, poof. 
You know, I don't know if the, at least the American one, I don't think we even got that far yet. That's a shame. <laughs> Have you ever felt a pear as warm and soft as mine? <laughs> voilà! Le pouf pouf! <laughs> Alright, back to you. Well, this one's a bit big. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I've always been okay with the Zelda games. I've never like, oh my gosh, I'm a huge Zelda fan. This game, however, changed all of that for me. This game is what got me into Zelda. And I know it's kind of controversial because a lot of people are like, that's not a Zelda game. That's not the way Zelda plays. But it's the way I like to play. So that's why I fell in love with this game. I could play this game for hours and hours just roaming around, like riding my horse around. So that's one of the reasons that I would never get rid of this game. My last pick is probably a no-brainer. Let's face it, I am never going to get rid of Chrono Trigger on Super Nintendo. Come on. The game that was made by the dream team at Squaresoft. <laughs> Everyone from the music to the art design to the gameplay, every little bit about it was the best of the best. Your boy Captain America over here. <laughs> the best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> yeah, with honors. <laughs> and they made such an epic game. It's an RPG, it's fantasy based, but that's all right because if you're not into that, there's time travel going on here. So maybe you'll end up in a dystopian future. Maybe you'll end up in a land completely run by magic or a land of dinosaurs. Even dinosaurs. Or just the end of time. But I love this game and to this day, anytime it is ported to anything, I make sure, with her help many times, mm -hmm. to get every single port because of how much I love it. I can revisit this game in a heartbeat, no problem. We've even got the mobile versions on Android and <laughs> iPhone. On iPhones. So why you have it on your shirt? <laughs> I um, so much aware it. <laughs> I would probably say I have my, an honorable mention, which would probably be all the Animal Crossing games. Oh, uh, that's just because you're obsessed right now. Well, no, they're great, but they do get progressively better. So I would just say an honorable mention, all Animal Crossing. <laughs> Even Amiibo Festival? That's not an Animal Crossing game. <laughs> Happy Home Design? I would take that over the Amiibo Festival. Pocket Camp? I would take that over that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nerdlings, at this point, we would typically tag people, but this is too much fun. So we've definitely got to throw an open tag out there. Please, anyone that is watching this video, if you want to just leave a comment about the three to five games or more that you would never get rid of, leave that comment down below. If you want to make a video, definitely do that and leave a link to the video in the comments down yeah, below so we, we and everybody else can watch it. And uh, yeah, leave some comments as well about what you think of our choices. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, Play some awesome games anytime you get the chance. Yeah. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Team Public because we've got merchandise over there. Go hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. I love you, Chrono Trigger. You're so good. Let's make the best game of all time. You just like the cave girl. Can I get in on this? Hell yeah! Um. Action.
Breath Zelda the Bridge Blue. Ready? <laughs> yes, babe. You wanna take a thumbnail picture? Oh, shit. Done having sex with your video games? It's worth a five, so I don't need to show five. 